Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main, uh, unranked diamond, not main account. Uh, we are Emerald 431 LP. We're playing Fiora. I was going to play Alawi, and unfortunately, I did not notice it was banned. Uh, they just stomped one and got stomped one and eight. They're duo with this Janna. Autif, so it's AD carry Twisted Fate. It's Zed mid against Malphite. It's Gregus against Kane, but he doesn't play Kane. He's autofilled. We'll see how it goes. Um, again, Cassante is still pretty obnoxious. Uh, this pick, by the way, has been just donated by Garabato. Uh, I, again, today was supposed to play only donated picks, and because of the panic, um, I just picked Fiora, and it wasn't donated, and then Garabato just used 250,000 pleb points and donated Fiora. So, thank, the, uh, thank you. Um, but yeah. I have my ruler out. Oh, he's over there, buds. There's no point continuing... Nice. Oh, these two swapped. Um, also, I'm going to read a message out. Kneecap just sent a really nice message. Said, uh, I used to watch you when I was 15. Hardstock bronze and you were in a Nivea main. I wasn't long ago. But yeah, I've now moved to England, uh, Bristol specifically. A Diamond 2 now playing for your uni's eSport team. I just wanted to thank you for the endless guiding you've given me and everyone else. Nice, dude. When did I play a lot of Anivia? Like two years ago, I think. Queen Pleb kind of looks like uh, Fiora. If I had to say which champion Queen Pleb looks the most like, it would be Fiora probably. Is it 2022? I don't even remember, man. As as a type. Yup. No, she doesn't have this hair. Queen Pleb's got long curly hair. Brown. Long brown curly hair. Oh. Dude didn't even aim for me then. So see, Malphite's a counter pick to Zed. Be interesting to see if he's going AP or not. He probably won't be. I know a few people in Bristol. Again, the Yogg's caster in Bristol. And again, most of you probably know the story, but I was going to join the Yogg's cast years ago. Decided against it because of the cut that they wanted. It was, again, I don't mind saying now, I think they wanted it was either 25 or 35 percent again i've got the contract still on my pc so i could find it but yeah i was just like not incredibly chuffed with like that's a lot you know and because like they had no one league of legends it wasn't a guarantee that my audience would even grow it would have been cool to go into like the multi-recording sessions though hey bloody diana tier one for five months thank you much appreciate it appreciate it Sharp blade, sharp mind. I should actually let this push. So I presume Fiora obviously got hit a bit like, well, Camille still seems still strong. But like Divine Sundra was obviously such a powerful item on these champions and it doesn't exist anymore that must have hurt them a little bit because if anything would you guys like i don't know tank items seem like like tank items have gotten stronger Probably didn't need a flash, but I'm just securing that I don't die through that noise. Out of curiosity, what helps more? Donations uh, or gifts? Uh, so 
So it's it's the crazy thing. So like technically, if you do a donation, I get pretty much all the money. So that in theory helps me more. But I don't know, like I kind of just like more like the gifted subscribers because it means more people have access to the emotes. The happy number. Again, <laughs> there's a reason we call it the happy number. Um so I don't know. I'm kind of cool. Like, because I know some people are kind of weird by it, but like, I'm I'm fine with Twitch having their cut, because without Twitch having a cut, the website just wouldn't exist. You know. I need to go back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Screw that noise. Do I ever stream on Kick? No. The only way that I'd ever stream on Kick is if I got a crazy contract. And, well, we did actually have a small conversation about this yesterday on stream, but like, I, I'm, after all, I'm a human with bills and a family. Like, if I was offered a contract that gave me security for a year or two as a content creator, it would be silly for me not to take it. <laughs> but, I'm, let's be honest, I'm not messaging Kick trying to get a contract so i'm never gonna get one you know oh my god he leveled up that cane leveled up from killing one of the grubs and that saved him i think isn't Twitch owned by Amazon? Yes, but Twitch technically loses Amazon quite a lot of money. Nice. Fiora, I'd say the thing with Fiora, right? I know she has definite strength. The thing with Fiora, she's actually just really fun to play. Like, she's satisfying to play, you know? I have a ranged attack. Wingardium Leviosa. I did not. I did not mean to press that button. So would I? Would I say like again, trying to flip into educational content? Obviously, like would I say this Cassante is doing anything wrong? No. I think this matchup is just quite hard for a Cassante. If a Fiora knows what they're kind of doing. So. I'm not playing dumb. I'm playing, I'd say, relatively smart. I'm not risking anything. I'm not really giving him any openings. So I don't realistically think this Cassante can do that much. One thing he shouldn't be doing is consist consistently basing in an area that I can stop his base. Like, that's just silly. He shouldn't be playing with the fire that much, you know? I know, obviously, it, it does also mean the longer that I'm here, the more chance for a Gragas to come. And if I'm using my W to stop him, then I don't have the W if there was an engage or something. But he keeps... Because it's Cassante, he takes ages to kill a wave. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is just rinse and repeat. <laughs> That's a mistake. Ooh, he didn't punish it. Thank God. If I was like Cassante and I just made that mistake, I potentially would have pressed... Oh, he doesn't have ghosts. Okay, maybe not. Hello. If he had ghost... What the heck? Okay. If he had ghost, then maybe I would have, like, ran him down. Or ran me down. Do, do, do. So that does give my team dragon because Gragas showed top lane. I guess he wanted the Dark Harvest stack, yeah. Um, someone just said, remember watching you 2017, 2018? You mentioned you were quite comfortable from YouTube channel. What, what was the cause since then? Um, well, income has gone down a bit, which is the older the channel. A lot of the time that does happen, but that's not even the main thing. Like, I still earn an okay amount and I don't want to like say I don't. I do. 
the more thing that's changed is yeah like twitch chat instantly answered that person responsibilities i back then was living at home i you know i contributed a little bit to some bills and stuff but nothing major i now have a mortgage i obviously i pay for bills you know my girlfriend does help but i do pay the majority um she's actually her percentage of what she pays has actually gone up recently because of her new job she's earning more uh, which is great um but yeah it's, it's just i didn't have that kind of financial responsibility you know now i do so no matter what that's just always going to change the situation i actually don't really want to proxy this it's like what i spoke about earlier why risk something that you don't need to so unfortunately vane just died because she didn't respect that maokai was roaming for the grubs I'd say AD carries still need to get used to that. Like a Janna of all things. Well, she's got, for some reason, Moby boots. But Janna's aren't really going to be roaming that much for big fights. But a Maokai will. It's Gragas. We need to respect us a little bit more than that. I think he just literally tried to ult to get one of them, but he didn't. Are you gonna, I mean, you can kind of understand it because us having all six is pretty bad for the enemy team. So you can kind of respect the attempt. Again, Twisted Fate right now, obviously very strong champion for show. Um, um, I think he is getting I think he is getting nerfed in the next patch again static shiv I don't even think is a very good item anymore and he's still doing well in the early game so isn't Drake always going to be worth more than grubs not necessarily no and plus when you're doing this type of game you might be able to get both of them so oh you might be dead I don't know he can get away like, what the Gragas should arguably do is... Because we were there already, ready to go. I, If I was like Gragas, I'd concede them. And then at the same time that we're doing them, do the dragon. But he's not. He he was still mentally like, oh, I really want to try and get um, the grubs. I'm not going to... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wow, okay. He, like, instantly... He went back and it instantly TP'd. Do I still consider being a pilot? No. No for two reasons. I've spoken about... Why is Janna here? I've, I've spoken about that quite a few times, but no for two reasons. One, money-wise, I used the money to become a pilot to buy the house, which is great. And secondly, it's very easy to say I'm going to go become a pilot because the lifestyle is quite unique when you're single. But the amount of, like, training for 18 months, I'd be away from home for 18 months. And then the actual lifestyle of just being a pilot itself, you're not home that much. And when you're home, a lot of the time you're just recovering because of, um, Precision and grace. you know, the time zone differences that you're flying in and everything. So again, when you're home, you're not really home. So, nah, it, it, it was a great idea when I was single and didn't have a family and all that stuff, but changes. And that's the thing, life, you can have a plan in life, which is great, and they can be really good, but oh, that didn't hit. I'd also say oh, be open to change as well, because life can just change. And a lot of the time it can change for the better too. That's a lot of spicy meatballs. So the enemy team is just kind of going as four people because that's what I guess they can do. Guess I should maybe just try to kill this because this is just... I can't die of a Cassante. But if I get the Rift Herald, then maybe I can just use the Rift Herald to like break open top lane.
Yo, well, my family's my girlfriend and my puppy. Again, obviously, we are wanting kids, but not quite yet. You know, they're my family. I'm hoping I can get this. So, yeah, they're all down there. It just depends if, like, randomly someone shows up to stop me. I don't really know who would. Alright. Um, I think, hilariously, it is actually... Oh, I didn't mean to buy two. I do actually think it's Merc Treads, because of their CC level is quite high. Gold card, Janna, CC... Whoa. Black Cleaver Rush. I guess, uh, yeah, it makes sense. He's against a Malphite. Ooh. Gragas obviously is very far behind. Um, I'm ahead in top lane. Bot lane is our bot lane is zero five, and the Malphite pick has not actually done that well. But Kane is doing good. Ugh. All right, you're gonna stop me now, Mister Cassante. <laughs> What was that? Eee! Wait, why does he do that much damage? What the heck? Okay, I thought he was trolling. And then he just murdered me. Huh. <laughs> okay. That champion is just built different. I know, I did tank two tower shots. Which is like there. He did 2,000 damage to me. That was Cassante killing me, not the tower. Again, his his basic design is just stupidly broken, but. Don't, he's basing here. Edge. Yeah, I don't know. I think Riot, if they were to admit a few things, I think they would definitely admit Cassante was probably a mistake and I, I know I've seen on Twitter I've not looked at the changes that much but I do know they're actively trying to do stuff for him but like the weird thing of just glancing at what they're doing like some of the stuff they're doing seem to be buffs this champion does not need a single buff Oh god. Do I want to? Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind. I would say Cassante. I mean, if I was in control of League, I think like a lot of people, I would change a fair amount about the game. I would not let Cassante really exist. Or if you want the concept to exist, and this is, I think, where they've gone really wrong with the champion, is he does way... Well, how do I say? So it's a tank that transforms, but when he transforms, he's still really tanky. The way that I would fix Cassante is make him... The squishiest champion in the game when he uses his ultimate. So it's like, right, you're a tank, cool. But when you ult, you are really squishy, which is he's still tankier than most things in the game when he's ults. That's what I would do. But I, I also think that would be fair because it's kind of the it's the whole risk of ulting as Cassante is hey, you're now really squishy. So the thing is, though, the only person I think can actually match me is Cassante, and they don't really have anybody else that can do it. Again, they've got a 0-8 Gragas, obviously. That's going to be really bad for them overall. That, that's Cassante because he knows he has to come and stop me. So I don't love, obviously, the split push play style, but when you're playing a champion that does it, I'm going to do it. Because it would be silly if I didn't. Yeah. 
He's actually above on me on level two. Oh my god, the chain CC! That was just ridiculous about a CC. <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah, they, the, the, the problem that you've got, and Twitch just said Yumi's gone because of the rework, your problem that you've got, and even if you like Cassante, there's a future that Cassante is just going to get yumi if you know what I mean. They did a rework of Yumi that basically destroyed the champion, apart from the people that are really dedicated to it. And she sucks, you know? She, she's awful. Um, the problem is, they might just do that to Cassante. But yeah, remember when Timo was the most hated champ? Yep, they genuinely like people probably new players do not realize Timo was genuinely the most despised and hated champion in League of Legends. They are doing Baron. If I had, if I was a betting man, which to be honest I partially am, I would say they they might be doing Baron. I don't know why we just kind of let them get Baron, if I'm completely honest. That was weird. I know Cassante used TP for me. Dragon's coming up in 20. Kane should probably not be all the way there. I can TP and go fight, that's the thing. Dun 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 Well that didn't work. I guess we just uh, guess we just do dragon now. I have no equal Oh god, it's ADTF, I keep forgetting. Bro's auto attacks really hurt. Yeah, he's level 15. I don't even know how. The hit. That was Twisted Fate. Right. Oh. How's he? Did he get condemned? Oh, he might have got condemned by Vayne. That might have just been a really bad condemn. I think Vayne did a really bad condemn. Cassante's got insane mobility, but not that insane mobility. You're really far away. See, what they want me to do right now is turn and fight them. I ain't gonna do that. Screw that noise. I'll fight, I might. Hey. We'll take it. Kabunga. Alright, Triforce. Again, I'm only at two items, by the way. Cassante's nearly at three. Probably the biggest reason why I've not been able to fight him at all. Level 16 as well. What the heck? Does he get more XP? The heck? Yeah, no, I think I was dead in that situation no matter what. If we just spread the enemy thin, I don't know if they can do anything, to be honest. Like, the problem is, I don't even know if I beat this Cassante at any any stage of the game. I don't, I don't know. Literally have no idea. Yeah, I guess I've started a group a little bit where Cassante hasn't as much, I guess. Oh, 
Why did... Wait, what? Was that red card or gold? I thought I saw gold card. Hey, Buzz. He does a lot of damage, that Twisted Fate, wow. No Funny thing is, he does a lot of damage, he's actually got two items that don't do a lot of damage. I would not say Static Shiv and Rapid Fire Cannon are two items that you go, oh, that's a lot of damage. They're more like utility auto-attacky items. Dan is ruining my day. <sighs> she keeps being just in the way. That's just a fate ultimate. That seems a bit of a waste. I'm literally just changed CC. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I've even got Merc treads and I just get changed CC. Jesus. Yeah, games are going all right. I think. How many have I played? Two? One? I have no idea. It's hard to keep track sometimes. Two? I think I played. No, one. I don't know. I just want to get full health. Hmm. Do we actually want to let them have that, though? That's their first dragon. Yeah. If we do something good with it, I guess it's fine. Hey, Ned Leo. Hey, Adam. What skin is this? This is Headmistress Fiora. Flank of a century, baby. Look at that flank. Oh, that was noise. Oh, that was noise. Santa didn't even die, by the way. <laughs> the heck is that champion? What the heck is that? They're not going to do any damage to him. I mean, Kane actually is doing a bit to him, but, like, not a lot. He's dead. He dead? Yeah. A bit of extra damage. She did have flash that she probably could have flashed the extra damage, and then she wouldn't have died. No, they both... They were both basing, and then both cancelled. These are really, really weird to a fate ultimates. I think he is getting nerfed next patch, unsurprisingly. ADTF. I've said it a few times, but when Riot have a champion that isn't necessarily designed to do something, and they go, oh, let's make it do that, they typically just make it way too strong. They have a history of doing it quite a lot. It might be intended, by the way, because, like, if they go, oh, you know, you can AD carry on Twisted Fate now, people may just not pay attention. But if they make it really strong, they might, people go, oh, I need to pay attention to that. And then they tone it down, but then you have already people that go, oh, I like play, I, I really enjoyed playing ADTF, I'll keep 
playing it, even though it's a bit nerfed. I got hiccups. Oh god. Did the Zed back off? I'd be surprised if he did. Because yeah, the Zed's just trying to side lane the whole game now. But he's trying to side lane. I don't know if you guys have noticed. He's only trying to side lane alone. He's not ever looking to PvP on a side lane. As you can. Which is a bit weird. Level 18 Kane. Yeah, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to catch up to the Cassante. He's level 17. I'm nearly level 17. This is like... There you go. When I'm two levels down, I am not fighting him. Janna is super glued to this Twisted Fate. Holy moly. They're legit. Yeah, got the tower. Hey, Niara. Mr. Malphite, careful. Nice, good survival. Oh. That's warded? Huh. I'm gonna be honest, I never expected that to be randomly, like... The enemy team hasn't been here. That's a confusing death for me. What the heck? It's such a weird place for them to have a ward. Here's the problem is because we're level 7. Another weird twist of fate armor. What the heck? And now he's ghosting. I'm guessing like again. ADTF has become really OP. But it obviously a lot of it means like. You know, they don't play the champion. But yeah, they're dead. Because the enemy team is just now just drooping like mad. Holy moly, okay. We need to be careful. We are not winning this game for free. If, if we keep getting caught individually. Okay, Janna just inted, but... It's not free. Ah, cane damage. Uh, I'm just going to go here. I don't. I think Maokai, if I'm completely honest, was just farming jungle. That does weird me out a little bit. But I'm gonna go mid lane because it's gonna make these guys panic, and that hopefully will actually let Kane fight them easier. Because they're gonna be one. They're not gonna be thinking of just fighting. They're gonna be like, oh, we need to go back, guys. We need to go back. And boom, look. So, yep, a bit of a scumbag thing to do, but it was it was the smart play. Oh, I could have killed him. That was a really weird W by that Zed. Very cocky. What the... Oh, they were killing Cassante this entire time. Now we get the Elder Dragon. Well, not Elder Dragon, sorry. We get the uh, Dragon Soul. Nice. I could go do Baron because Sante's still dead, and he's actually the like one of the main strengths of the enemy team. Hey, John! I did one of your donated picks, by the way, my dude. I played Ziggs last game, um, but you, I guess, weren't here right at the moment. But it will be uh, uploaded. Oh, I see an elephant flower. Anybody watch the the live Dumbo that they did? I didn't. I'm not that bothered about all these like you know live versions of all the Disney films because like they're never as good as the old cartoon. Hmm. I've seen. The Lion King one, Beauty and the Beast, that might be it. And neither were as good as the original cartoon. Do, do. A live action Treasure Planet, that would be cool if they did it well. A live action Atlantis would be cool. 
All right. Also, question of the day. Do not hesitate. It, for the YouTube audience especially, it's not really going to... You can answer it, and it'll be interesting to see what people say. I'm home alone uh, this week. Well, technically, Queen Pleb and Maya are coming back tomorrow. I'm home alone. I've got no food practically in the fridge, or like I'm streaming, so I don't really. I've got bacon, uh, but I don't really want to cook. What do I order for lunch? What would be people's? What would be people's like choice? I don't want anything expensive. A cheap lunch. Subway. I'm leaning to Subway. I am leaning to Subway. Has to be said. I don't know what bro's thinking, I'm gonna be honest. He just used all of his spells and even his ultimate on the wave. I know he's not had the best game. But yeah. I'm not sure about using all of his spells not on the thing that's attacking you. Raz, 27 months tier one says nurse the diamond was that like a supposed to be like nurse give me the scalpel whatever the hell they say there we go oh we did it all right so that was a pretty smooth game um i would say one of the biggest mistakes that the enemy team made or specifically the cassante the cassante actually stopped matching me and you guys saw, Cassante was really strong. I don't know if I could have beaten him later. But for some reason, he just went to other parts of the fight. I'm guessing he did other, uh, he went other places because, like, his team may have been struggling a little bit. So, boom, I'll go help them. But to be honest, like, the Twisted Fate was strong. The Zed wasn't that weak. Yes, the Gragas was really bad. But, like, I think they had a better chance if they put Cassante against me in the 1v1. And then they tried to 4v4 my team. Like, I think they had a better chance. I would say that's what that was that is my opinion on the matter there we go plus 30 again very nice so again plus 30 is good because we're now in emerald so the plus minus average is going off plus minus 20 instead of plus minus 28 so that is why our lp gains have dropped i actually did the most damage on my team which i'm actually a bit surprised about and i nearly did the most damage in the game the Z beat me by less than 200 so, yeah. Vayne actually outdamaged the Twisted Fate as well by the end of the game. So that's, I don't know. The enemy team, I don't, they kind of dropped off a bit. But uh, it's nice to get the win. Obviously, I think what you saw this game of me side lading and split pushing a bit, like, this was like the extent that I would do it. I side laned or went to go get the in here at the right times. But I still was like, oh, I'm going to go group. I'm going to go group occasionally. That's just who I am as a player. I can't just the whole game stay side lane. So, yeah, we did 12,000 uh, 12, damage to towers. Most damage in the game to towers. Gragas didn't hit a tower at all. Nil did Janna. Um, so we did the highest damage to champions on our team. Second highest in the game. And we did the highest damage to towers in the game as well. So, yeah, pretty good game overall bit shocked by how well the Cassante could deal with me, but, I, you know, it's Cassante in the end of the day. Uh, Zed was not bot lane, they lane swapped. Twisted Fate went AD carry bot and Zed went mid. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, do throw a like on the video, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see. Oh, uh, and yeah, this was donated by Garabato uh, as a 250,000 pleb point dono. So thank you very much, Garabato, for that. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.